Hey, what is going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Well, I am back with you again, and this time we are inside uh, Giants Editor 10.0.1. All right, so a quick update. Yesterday, when I put out the, uh, the video on the Giants Editor, at that point, they had only had Giants Editor 10, and I, I kind of assumed that they were going to put out a 10.0.1 just because we had issues right off the bat. Now, uh, I did notice that, well, I, I noticed and I also stated that it felt like some things were missing, right? And I was right. And that's probably what they fixed with the 10.0.1 update. Uh, but however, they did not fix everything. So in file, the new mod from game uh, still does not work. <clears throat> so let's cancel that. Uh, but what didn't work in the 10.0 for me is up in the scripts, uh, when you went to like the uh, the field toolkit and the placeables toolkit, this did not work, and I was wondering why it had it had a code in there. There was little code for for like creating a window, but no window popped up when I clicked on it in 10.0. Uh, so that makes sense now. So th this part at least is working, right? So I do like the way that they're creating fields now. Whether it's going to be easier or not remains to be seen. Uh, but I, I do like it so far. Now, I'll give you a quick lowdown on, and what I'm looking at here, by the way, is just a flat map that I put together. It's just it blank. I just took the, uh, I copied over the American map, and I just blanked everything out. I, I took literally everything out except for uh, fields, and I have like a spline that I've been playing with for like a traffic system, and that is it. In a vehicle shop I left in there because I'm also playing around with placeables. And this is only for me to try to figure things out. Uh, if these guys are interested in any kind of like flat map, super easy to make. I can maybe throw together another video on that. It's just copying over the American map. You got to copy it over. Don't don't take the base game map in its current location and save it. You need to copy it over your mods folder. Then you can open it up, start deleting stuff out of there, uh, and then you'll have yourself a flat map. So that's one way to get around it where you don't have to worry about waiting on giants for them to fix the editor that will work out just fine that, that's how i did this uh if i was a nice guy and i would have thought far enough ahead i would have actually created one of these properly and throw it up on my website for you guys to be able to use to get started on your map projects but i guess i'm not that nice at least today <laughs> i can still do it uh with that being said there is one available on the internet that i know of so far uh, but me personally, I don't know how to say it, but considering the source, I'm, I don't know how much I would trust it. Uh, so I can put one together if you want. Uh, if not, like I said, I do always encourage you guys to jump in there and, and, and do these things yourself because then you know what you're getting, right? You're not inheriting somebody else's problem. You're not taking for granted that that other person knows what they're doing uh, and and you may have nothing but problems somewhere down the road because you assumed it was going to work correctly and things were screwed up from the get-go, all right? So super easy to just flatten one of these things out on your own. And to me, this is just a testing ground, right? Because I, I need to get used to how things are working with this new editor. I got some things to figure out. We all have some things to figure out. Uh, and this is my, my playground to be able to do that. All right, so what I was doing anyhow was the uh, the field toolkit, which, which I really like, right? So if I start with this blank map here, let me go up to fields. So I left just an empty fields transform group. Now I can go on and just create field, <clears throat> and we'll create a fir our first field here and see what happens. Now it created an uh, empty transform group, well not empty transform group, but it created the field one transform group for us, right? And you can see down here, that Oop, let me get down there i can't see what i'm doing with this box in the way all right now here's our tag or our note i should say all right now if i go on the toggle debug rendering so this is basically like our our toggling our fields like we used to do all right it was like tog toggle toggle area field render uh you can go into your polygon points here all right and you can start moving these points around kind of like you did with the blue square method right now, another way I found to do this is if I delete all but one of these points, all right, you can delete these and just say, like, take point number one, 
we'll hit Control V. All right, and I'm going to stick that, like, say, right here. And I will just start laying some of these points down. Now, kind of imagine that I, I drew a field on the ground there somewhere, like a dirt, you know, and then I could just trace it like this and get whatever shapes I want out of it. So you, you can still get your, you know, your crazy, crazy field shapes. All right, so that would be my field. That's my new field, all crazy looking. Uh, looks pretty wild. <laughs> uh, but now you'll notice that all my polygon, polygon points are all polygon point one. Or, yeah, point one. So in here, we can go through and, uh, let's see, rename polygon points for selected field. And it'll take a second, but it should rename them all accordingly. There we go. So now we're point one through 44. Now, I would imagine, um, well, given the way that they're doing this, first of all, I would have to play around with the uh, field dimensions with bitmap to see if we can kind of get this to work because I have a few ideas on, on how we can get this to work. And it would be just taking those, the, the points, the existing points that it creates, and we would turn that into polygon points, basically. And it, and it should work. I don't know. Well, I'm still working on that one. So I, I think it's doable. I think it's feasible. If not, there's lots of different ways, I'm sure, to be able to, to get something like this to work. I, I also know that Looking at, let me see where I was here. Looking at, we'll, we'll go back to uh, one of my my mod map folder here. Let's go to my games. All right, there's my little test map in here. Now I left all of the masks in place. All right, so all of these masks, because I'm still playing around with these. So these are the original masks from the American map. And I'm playing around with them just to see what I'm still trying to figure out this procedural placement. Uh, but you should be able to take something like this, like this this PG Acres here, right? And when I open that up, the way that I create my fields now for FS22 is based on something just like this. A little bit different, but it's pretty much just like this, where I traced it out in Photoshop uh, and I trace it out over a real satellite image. And it's for my like real life locations, <clears throat> but I'm kind of thinking you can take these and somehow transfer that data into polygon points, right? And then you should be able to create your fields real easy. I, like I said, I'm just kind of speculating right now. I'm, I'm tossing around ideas in my head of things that I think are doable or not doable. Uh, but anyhow, uh, that's one idea. So I, I think in in the long run, as Time goes on with this, uh, with the FS25 here and, and, you know, creating fields and maps and stuff like that. If it's not myself, uh, it'll be somebody a whole lot smarter than me uh, that will come up with, with something neat and interesting and some, you know, fancy schmancy way of making fields that's super easy and, and much better than what we got going on. However, this, I wouldn't really complain about this. I think this is not that bad for a start anyhow. Um, so I can deal with this. Considering at one time I dealt with the blue square method and that didn't kill me. <laughs> so we'll be all right. All right. So from here, you know, once you have your field laid out. Uh, now, I don't know what everything does here. Uh, but we can repaint fields. So I can repaint my selected field. Now, if I turn off my debug, see that it already painted it exactly where it belongs. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I, I can deal with that, right? Uh, and then obviously, if you go around and you play with all of these, you can see, you know, what does what you can you can do all your fields at one time or you can just do certain fields. Now, if I turn that off, I can clear the field also. Like if I don't want that there anymore, I can clear that out of there and clear selected field that's gone. And if you have any kind of fruit in there, if you put wheat or something like that in there, uh, you can go ahead and take care of that <clears throat> by clearing it and to convert. Not sure what that is. I guess that's going to come with time. I'll, I'll figure that out. I'm not not quite sure. Oh, it, it created a new field too when I hit convert. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, debug and see what it gave me for a field too. Oh, I just put one right next to it. Let's see what's under polygon points here. 
Eh, not much. All right. So anyhow, it's this step in the right direction. All right. Like I said, when I when I did the video yesterday, this was not available to me. So some things weren't kind of weren't making sense, right? So I wasn't sure what was going on there. Oh, I see. Field one old. Oh, it renamed it. Oh, I don't want that. Let's put it back to where I had it. <laughs> Uh, but there's a lot of neat things that you can do in here, right? So, like validate, you can see that we're at 1.45 hectares. Um, but I think validating them just basically rewrites this information. Uh, what else does it does? Field size, get total, right there, 1.45. So we know that's correct. I think as I was moving, moving some of these points around, let me go back into polygon points here. Let's see, point one. I think I've seen this update itself. I can't be sure. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. No, maybe I didn't. I thought, it, I thought it updated as I was moving things around. So if I make it something like that, all right, now I should be able to, uh, to validate. That should update this here. Yeah, it did. All right. All right. So little by little, things are coming together, right? Things are making a little bit more sense. Uh, like I said, this is not horrible when it comes to making fields. I can certain, certainly live with this. I'm, I think I'm okay with that. I would think in here, there should be an easier way to put fruit on the ground, right? But I guess you can always paint it on uh, using like limit to texture or something like that. That would go on fairly easy, I'm sure. Uh, clear fruits. Let's see. Repaint. Now, repaint the fields to farmland. I was playing around that a little bit as well. Uh, let's minimize that. We'll go into like an info paint here. All right. Let's go down to, oops, what did I do there? I'm not sure what I did. Let's go into farmlands. Now I have this all, this purple. By now you should know what the purple is. That's all non-sellable land or non-buyable land, I should say. Let me make that a little bit smaller there. All right. So we'll make that into farmland number one. That's going to be our farmland number one right there. All right. All right, so you can see what farmland number one, if I open this up and I repaint that to the farmland. Now, I've never played with this before, so I'm not quite sure. I was playing with it in the actual U.S. map. I see something's different there. I, I might have to set up my XML for my farmlands and my, my fields and stuff like that. Uh, what I did in the uh, American map is when I when I hit repaint, it actually painted that field right. Well, basically what it says, it, it painted it to my farmlands info layer. I'm not sure why I would want to do that, but either way it did it. And I don't know. Like magic, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, no, I'm, I'm digging it so far. So far, I think everything is looking pretty good. All right. So what do we got going on here? I got, oh, that's my recording screen. Why did that come up? Oh, yeah, yeah. All kinds of crazy stuff going on here tonight. All right. So that's it for the fields. Something to get excited about, I guess. Uh, the next thing that I want to look into is I want to look into... I was going to do this tonight, but I think I'm running low on time, and it's very late right now, uh, so I'm not quite sure I'm going to keep moving forward forward with this or not. Uh, but I do like Displaceable Toolkit as well. Um, let's see what we have here for folder. Data Maps, Map US. I don't know if I want to do that. I will start playing with some placeables. Now, I don't know if this writes it to the XML file or if I need to have that written to the XML file and then it'll place it. Uh, these are all things I guess that I'm going to figure out as we go along here. Uh, and then the last thing that I think I, I really need to figure out is I was talking to one of you guys tonight through the comments section on YouTube and we were talking about the roads that there is a, a an awesome way to make roads from what I understand. Uh, now I I knew there was a way that you could you could do it. I don't know how I want to explain it, uh, but like procedurally, I guess I don't want to know if that's the right word. Uh, but but it was going to be a super simple way to do it. It was a lot easier than what we have been doing. 
like using the uh, spline street constructor and stuff like that, that it was just a whole lot easier. Uh, I didn't see any examples of it yet of somebody actually doing it. So I'm, I'm not sure, quite sure how it's done. I'm still working on that. I'm sure you guys will point me in the right direction here at some point. But according to you guys, my mind will be blown. And that gets me super excited. Very <laughs> excited because, man, I would, oh, I dream of days where I can just, just quickly draw out like a road system and, you know, a couple clicks of a, a button and bam, everything is in place, perfectly, perfectly structured roads looking all nice and uh now i did play around with it in here to see if i can get some things working the way that i thought it should work and nothing worked the way i wanted it to but i also need to keep in mind that when i i flattened out this map i had there's if you look at the uh base game map there's a ton of decals all right and and there's a lot of infrastructure decals road decals stuff like that um and i have a feeling that the way th it gets done relies on those decals maybe i don't know uh, but anyhow i deleted them out of here so i think i might need those in place to get that to work so anyhow that's my update for tonight so so far so good fields are, are looking okay i can deal with that uh not such a bad way to do fields um one by one like i said i kind of think there's a way that you could kind of do them in one fell swoop by using either an info layer or a mask uh, like I just showed you, I'll have to play around with that because that's how I do them in 22 and I'm able to do them all in, in one shot. Uh, so I can only imagine why not. I should be able to do it in 25. I just got to tinker around with a few things and see what we can get done with that. I will figure out the placeable, see what's going on there. I guess that'll be a second video and then I can update you guys with that. We can see, you know, how to goof around with the placeables. Uh, and then I'm hoping you guys set me straight on the, on the vehicle, on the roadways. Cause man, I can't wait to see that, that, that is going to be sweet. And that is it. So I'm going to leave it there right now while I wrap this up. I got some other things to do tonight. Still very, very late. Uh, and that's it. I will catch up with these guys on the next video. Hopefully shouldn't be long. And with that being said, Barry Brown, see you on the next one.